Have you ever wondered what the differences are between a hybrid transformerless inverter and a transformer based inverter? Stop wondering, my friend. <laughs> I'm about to put you out of that confusion as we delve in to decipher what the differences are between these two devices. Welcome back guys. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. We love clean energy. So what are the differences between these two major devices? A hybrid uh, transformer-less inverter and a transformer-based inverter. A transformer-based inverter uses a transformer to synchronize uh, the voltage and the current, all right? So the conversion, the synchronization of the voltage and the current is done with the transformer. While this is essentially MOSFET based and it uses a lot of electronic components and chips to perform the same function of converting and synchronizing the energy, the current and the voltage. All right, so that in itself in the face value is the first major differences between these two components. So let's look at heat, the temperature. The transformer based inverter emits a lot of heat in the process of trying to use the transformer to do the conversions and the synchronization. In that process, a significant amount of energy is lost. But because this is MOSFET based and it uses electronic components to perform the same function, it does not uh, emit as much heat. So most of the energy is intact, all right? Transformerless based inverter takes it for this one for me. Let's look at solar charge controller. A hybrid transformerless inverter already has an inbuilt solar charge controller, while a transformer based inverter would require an external solar charge controller here to perform its function of controlling the energy that comes in from the solar panels. All right. So, because this is inbuilt, it poses its own challenge because it does not give you the flexibility, all right, to use this for a different function. I'll give an example. For example, this is a 48 volt inverter system. So the MPPT solar charge controller is tied to it. All right, so it does not give you the flexibility to perform a different function. Say you want to charge a different set of batteries that is like six volt, uh, 12 volt, 24 volt. And a major challenge that I also have is the fact that because it's tied, they are together in one unit. If it develops a fault, if the inverter is bad, so is the solar charge controller. It's useless to you. You can use it to perform a different function. So this is the downside of it. But because this has an external solar charge controller, even if this component is bad, you can still make use of this. And because this has an external solar charge controller, this gives you specific settings so that you can decide how long you want your absorption of your batteries to be, how long you want the bulk charge to be, when you want it to wake up, the absorb end, and all of those functions that are very necessary to ensure that your systems are working quite smoothly. Let's look at space. If you have space constraints, then you pretty much might want to go for the transformer-less inverter as it takes less space because this is bigger. It takes more space because of the transformer. And then you also have the solar charge controller, which has to work externally with it. All right, so this in itself takes more space. So if you're worried about space, you might want to go for a hybrid transformer-less inverter. Let's look at energy consumption very key if you're using an inverter of course energy is tops in your list you kind of buy devices that use less energy you're worried about your fan is it energy efficient is your tv energy efficient is your freezer energy efficient is your air conditioners energy efficient but whilst we are focused so much on these other components and appliances that are plugged onto your inverter we seem to forget the self appliances the self appliances in itself also takes a lot of energy all right but because this has a transformer this tends to take more energy than the mosfet based um inverters all right so this takes less energy and this takes more energy so if you're bothered about energy consumption you might want to go for a hybrid transformerless inverter all right, surge. Wow, typically in our situation where you have very unstable powers and you have a lot of power fluctuation, you may want to go for a transformer-based inverter as it handles the surge a lot better than um, a hybrid transformer-less inverter, which might likely break down when you have excessive surge. 
all right load very important transformer base takes it for me on this one transformer base handles a lot more load than a transformer less inverter it takes more load especially where you have a lot of inductive appliances heating elements all those very very huge appliances that requires a huge amount of power at startups then the transformer base inverter does it well for me on this one so let's look at which is more durable which will last longer a transformer based inverter will most definitely last longer because of the transformer in the equation it's more rugged and it has less components but the hybrid transformer less inverter it's more likely to break down as it has a whole lot of components going on and it's not that strong to withstand a whole lot of loads and abuse and floggings just like the way this will be if you remember typically how we handle our generators in this country <laughs> a generator that is 3.5 kva you have people loading it up 4 kva and it struggles and it keeps moving if you do that to a mosfet based inverter it will break down but this might power on and keep moving costs very important so most times too when you're making your choices of the inverter to buy cost and your budget comes into it all right so if you don't have so much budget you might want to get uh, the transformer less hybrid inverter as it already has the solar charge controller inbuilt all right so that's a lot cheaper slightly cheaper than a transformer base and an external solar charge controller that's all we have time for today guys if you found this interesting please kindly help us to subscribe and also click that notification bell so that we can let you know when we have new videos coming out it's smiling sun everything solar installation everything inverter installation everything going green thank you guys very much and see you in the next video